Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well and that you enjoyed um, your little break and you're all back with all the energy to take on the next semester. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about Scottish folklore. Um, so as I know, many of you know, um, Scotland has like a rich history, we're an ancient nation, so of course we have like um, a lot of folklore. Um, and interesting stories. Um, so first of all, um, I'd like to talk about the unicorn. So of course, unicorns exist everywhere and they're quite popular and, and trendy right now. But we have a deep historic relationship with the unicorn in Scotland. It's actually our national animal. Um, and in the past, there was written descriptions by the Celts who lived on the British Isles. If you've seen my other videos, you will know that. Um, and by the 12th century, um, the symbol of the unicorn became associated with power and nobility in Scotland. And eventually, um, it's become associated with um, freedom, which, as you know, that's like a, a topic that is quite important in Scotland. And if you look at the British passport, you see a lion, which is a um, symbol of England, and to the right hand side is the unicorn, which is symbolic of Scotland. Okay, okay next, um, another mythical creature from Scotland is a Kelpie. Um, so a Kelpie is a shape shifting, horse like water spirit. Um, I say horse like because it's much bigger and it's said to have the strength of 100 horses. However, contrary to the unicorn, which is known for its nice and kind nature, um, a Kelpie um, actually has a dangerous and cursed spirit, so you have to be beware of them. Um, in Scotland, in a place called Falkirk, um, there's um, big structures um, of a Kelpie and it's now like a famous tourist attraction. This next one, I know most of you will have heard about. It's the Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, also known as that. Um, so Nessie is a, a dinosaur-like creature said to live in Loch Ness in Scotland. Um, in Scotland, um, we don't actually have the word lake. All of our lakes are known as Loch, which is the Scottish word. So all the lakes in Scotland are called Loch and then the name. Loch Ness is actually huge and it has more fresh water than all the lakes in England and Wales combined. So maybe there is space for a mythical creature to live there. Um, Nessie was first written about in the 5th century, so it's been a long living legend. Um, and she was first post or published like in a newspaper in 1933 after a visitor from London um, has said he had spotted her in the lake or the loch. Um, and then a few days later, um, there was a first photograph published of her, like this. So another famous mythical creature in Scottish folklore are fairies, or fairies, um, those small little creatures uh, that, you know, exist in other folklore and cultures around the world. Um, in the past, it was typically the Highlanders, so those in the north, um, who had a lot of stories um, and ideas about fairies. Um, so, for example, um, according to their folklore, fairies existed in many different forms and shapes. Some of them could be good, um, who got good energy and good things. And on the other hand, there could be little evil, evil fairies who would curse you and your family and things like that. So there's loads of different stories about fairies and that comes from Scottish Highlands. If you wanted to try and spot a fairy, there's different places you can visit in Scotland, um, but the most known are the fairy pools in the island. The island. And lastly, selkies. Selkies are mythical creatures that just appear to be like seals in the sea, um, and you can find them, or legend says you find them in the north coast of Scotland and the islands, and they just look like cute little seals. But the legend goes that as soon as they hit the land, they turn into humans and they have great seductive powers. So once the, the Selkie has turned into human on land, they'll make you fall hopelessly in love with them. So if you visit Scotland and come across a Selkie, you might leave heartbroken. Okay, so of course there are many others, but I just wanted to talk about those ones today. Um, as you know, Scotland's a very ancient country with lots of rich history. So a lot of her folklore 
um, involves ghosts as well. So if you're interested, of course, you can look to find um, more of our myths and legends as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions, I'll leave them below. Bye.